What kind of being are you, JJ? <laughs> what kind of being is it? What kind of being might the pirate be? No, I mean, I mean, it's um, a parrot. It's a human being. Parrots are humans. He, humans have feelings, and you are talking about beings. Pet, I have no clue. Pets is not a human. Okay, so every human looks like this. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel today? Ah, uh, yeah, person? yeah. I, I was actually ill yesterday, and I still feel it in my head. So mm, I will definitely need some recre uh, recreational time, but definitely some time to get better. So the plan is probably to chill out more, maybe even lying bed, uh, lying down to bed every then and so every second break, maybe probably now. It really, I am really a little bit messed up in my mind because uh, yeah, ill, ill meant uh, I, I am having a cold. So it means everything, I'm a little bit sneezed or whatever you call it and it makes it hard to think at high level. So whenever I uh, try to think there's some headache or I'm feeling like a pumpkin. Um, so I really hope that this will disappear within the next two days. I will play some bed stone later, so I think that's at 8 o'clock. I also should put off the alarm clock or um, yeah. Set up the alarm clock so that I don't forget it. So that's at 8 CET today, the bedstone. Uh, that's actually very interesting because um, Adrian and me, we had um, the same thoughts and we didn't even discuss about it. Actually. That's right. Yeah, that's actually very interesting. That's right. So four hours from now and uh, the decks we brought were uh, Reno Warlock, Dragon Priest. I mean, it's a three uh, best of five, three decks, no ban. And we brought Dragon Priest, Reno Warlock, and um, Dragon Priest, Reno Warlock, and the last deck was Shaman. And Shaman. So I think we have three skill heavy decks yeah. and three insanely strong decks. Yes. I, I think we brought. Yeah. Um, I, I would not. I mean, I'm curious how it works. How do you rate your chances for this tournament? No, we rated chances. How many players? Eight players. Eight players. So 12.5% each. I think we have way better decks than the average. Like 20? 20. 20. Probably 20. 20% 20 each to win this, to, to ship so the we got 40% together. You're the I have 20 and you have 20. Because we are, you are in the upper bracket, I'm in the lower bracket. So we are actually in two different brackets. It wouldn't be right if... No, because we can never win, uh, we can never both win. No, you're right. 40% to yeah. ship the entire thing. Yeah, I, I agree. That's yeah. good. It w it's only case because we are in a different bracket. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. 40% guys. <laughs> <laughs> We are building decks and we are feeling actually pretty good. It's just like one or two cards missing. But what we are feeling is like the preparation paid off. Paid off, yeah. Paid off big 100 time. 100% big time. So instead of being completely clueless about which decks we should play or we might consider, and being completely clueless about the deck choices and the card choices, and also feeling completely unprepared with decks, we know pretty much exactly which decks we would like to bring, with exactly the cards in them which we would like to bring, and also feeling comfortable because we already practice every deck a certain amount of games. So that's actually pretty awesome. Yes. Yeah. Like sometimes you don't really have the feeling that you're like, uh, you, 
that you are so well prepared, but when you spend so much time in a game and you actually at the point where you need a dex, you're like, oh, actually, I did some work in the last week. It's a very good feeling. Yeah, it's also that um, because we primed ourselves and also our brains uh, for Hustle in the last week, it was basically Hustle in the morning, uh, during the day, and also in the evening, and then going to bed and Hustle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. And then making up with the same thing in, in mind. Oh. Um, it feels like very natural. It doesn't even feel yeah, like natural. Yeah, like very natural. Yeah, but it, it was very exhausting also. No, of course. So. Yeah, also, it also feels that every day it was like a week. Yeah. After the fourth day of boot camping, it felt that we were already. that we didn't really achieve much for the last two and so, or three weeks. But then I realized that it weren't even two or three weeks. Actually, only four days have passed at that point. So it was really, these four days felt like two or three weeks because we were so active, because we were so uh, trying so hard that the time actually got um, compressed. Yeah. Yeah. Pua, time compression. So it's like you guys become a time traveler. Time traveler. Rather, time warpers. Time warper, time warpers, yeah. Warping. Time converters. Well, time converters, yeah. It's just the feeling that, yeah, I couldn't do more <laughs> and I actually try to get the best out of me. I think that's actually the feeling. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, obviously we are not playing perfect because it's just <laughs> very difficult to do so or nearly impossible. But I mean, it's basically what you said that we are always trying to get the best out of us. And yeah, it really feels that um, at least the last week we could really achieve to do so. And that's the thing which counts for yes. us the most. So Bedstone is starting soon. Yeah, um, we're just gonna get in there, play a bit for. I think for us it's more like a playing session, a bit like. It's, mm -hmm. it's also a community tournament, and mm -hmm. yeah, we're happy to play in it. But no, actually, it's just we're, no extra practice. We are no just following all our, our daily rhythm, and it's like like, like yeah. one extra series in between. Yeah, that's how it feels. Exactly. As you know, we have also streamed already prepared decks the entire day. So it's basically what you say, one extra session in starting in one hour for the next two and a half hours. Yeah. But now we are gonna build the decks for Neumünster first. Yeah. See you later guys, see you tomorrow. See you later.